everyone and welcome to the HSC database and estimation tutorial. In this tutorial we will go through how to use the HSC database, how the databases work and how you can add your own species in the database. We will also go through how to use the estimation module to add your own species to the database. Okay, so let's start with the database. So I click this database icon over here and the HSC will open up the database edit editor on the screen. All right. So on the left here I can see all the available species data in the HSC main database and in this window I can see the uh, information of a specific entry in the HSC data database. So for example in this case we have selected the actinium and we can see the actinium information over here. On the right here we have uh, these charts in different tabs and they are related to the information in the center here. So whatever species we have chosen here we can also see the thermodynamical information in a chart over here. So here we have some basic information of the selected species and uh, over here we have the filter tools. So with the filter tools I can filter out this uh, list of species over here. So if I want to see only uh, species with, uh, which can be made with elements copper and oxygen, I can write them here and then select this possible species and then I see the list over here. Next, let's go through a little bit uh, about the notations over here. So as you can see, the species, sometimes they have suffix and sometimes they don't have. So if the species doesn't contain suffix, it means that it is a condensed species, which means that it can contain uh, information, uh, both solid and liquid information in the same entry. And if it contains some kind of suffix, for example, G, then it contains uh, information of that particular phase. So for example, G refers to the gas phase. Uh, if there is A, it means uh, aqueous phase, so usually as a dissolved ion. Uh, if it contains L or S, those refer to uh, liquid and solid phases. There are also other suffixes related to organic species, uh, isomers for example, or something else. And if you want to get familiar with them, you can see the help file over here. Okay, uh, next uh, let's check a few things about the main and own database. So the, when you use HSC, you always have two databases. You have the main database, which you cannot change in any way. And then you have the own database, which you can edit freely however you want. If you want to filter out data uh, that is shown in here, then you can click these database icons over here and show only own database in information or only the main database information. Now if I show only the own database, I can see that it's empty, which means that I don't have any of my own species in my own database. Okay, so let's try to add a new species to the database. So if the species is completely new, I press this add new species button and I can see that the database editor gives me this empty template to fill out. Now the most important thing of this empty template is the formula. So this is used by the HSC calculation engine to figure out what kind of elements are in the species, so this needs to be written right. If I try to write some nonsense in here and try mm -hmm. to save, the program will tell me that the formula is invalid. So let's pretend I have found some uh, new organic species, so I write uh, the molecular formula over here. And then I have some information of the enthalpy and CP, so I fill them out here. And when I'm satisfied, I can press the save. 
and now the species is added to the own database. On the left here I can see my added species and I can see only that because I don't have the main database filter on. So if I put the main database filter on then I can see both the own and main database species over here. If you want to add species in the database by using some existing species data in the main database, you can press this add and edit. So let's say that uh, I have some additional information for the actinium and I want to use it in my calculations. I would select the actinium and press add and edit. Then the HCC will give me this kind of template with all the actinium information and then I could make the changes uh, that I want. For example, if I had some better information of the CP, I could make those changes over here and then press save. And now we can see uh, the added actinium species here in the database. And one very important thing is that if you add your own species that have the same name as the main database species, then by default the program will always use the own database species if it can. So in this case, uh, in my calculations, the program would always use this species. So uh, if you edit some information here, then it will have effects on your calculations. To prevent uh, the HSC to accidentally use some old information that you have added in your own databases, it is usually a good idea to add some kind of suffix uh, after the species. So after the species formula there can be any kind of uh, additional information inside suffixes. So for example if I wanted to make it safer to use my own actinium species, I could press this edit and then put in the suffixes my own species and then save and now I have that information here and now if I would uh, want to use this in my own calculations I would have to use also these suffixes and if I wanted to use this actinium I would just write AC last thing about the databases so HSC always uses by default the latest main database in the calculations. If you want to use some other main database version, you can press this change main database version to change it. Also, you can save several separate own databases and uh, choose which one you are currently using. So uh, one own database could, for example, contain uh, organic species and another could contain inorganic species or however you want to save them. So in the database editor we also have this fit CP data editor over there. So if I want to edit the CP data uh, more precisely then I can use this fit CP data over here and it will open up this uh, CP fit module for me and then I can insert some temperature and CP data over here by hand and then I can fit the, re uh, fit the data to specific ranges over here and I can also add my own ranges here. So this tool can be used for that. Uh, I won't go into too much detail of this tool. If you want to find out more, you can find out more in the database help file. Okay, that's it for the database. If you want to find out more, you can always check out the help file over here. However, we will move on to the next topic, which is the estimation module. And with this module, you can uh, try to estimate thermodynamical values of any given species, no matter if it's found in the database or not. So for example, if you encounter some species that you want to use in your calculations but you don't find the uh, relevant data in our database, you can use this estimation module 
to estimate some thermodynamical values for it. And the estimation module basis for the estimation is the statistical data of all the species information in the HSC database. So let's start by estimating a species that is familiar to us and that we can find in the database. So for example H2O. We can now see the enthalpy formation values and entropy values here and compare the estimated data to the database data. Uh, also we have the species type option over here. So if we know that species is inorganic then we can select that one and estimate with the assumption that it is inorganic. Uh, we can see some differences in the results. Uh, they might be better or they might be worse, like this CP for example. So uh, selecting the species type between the not specified and inorganic there might not be so big difference, but for organic species this organic species type might be a good idea. However, let's not go into that in detail. Let's see how we can add species now to the database. So let's say that uh, I, I want to, I don't have the information of polonium oxide in database and I want to add, see how the estimation routine handles it. So I write here polonium oxide and now I can see for the database that the data is not available, but I can see that some estimates came for the thermodynamical data. Okay, I, I, I'm satisfied with this. Then next I select this uh, species row and I press here save to HSC database and CP range and then I can enter the CP range that I want the estimation to use. So uh, okay I increase it a little bit and then in how many steps the estimation routine will estimate the CP, I say 50 between these two values. Okay then I press OK. And now the HSC opens up the database editor. And in the database editor we get this template ready for us. So we have the estimated CP and enthalpy and entropy data over here. I can check here that uh, the data is uh, seems okay. And then I can press save and now the species is saved to the database. Again in the own database. So with this estimation module you can quite easily enter uh, new estimated species information to the database and use that then with your own calculations. So if I now go out of here and uh, I want to use my polonium oxide in the calculations, I can start for example this reaction equations module and then make here the equation and then balance and then calculate. And now I can see the results that are based on my estimated species. Okay, that's it for the HSC database and estimation tutorial. Now you should be able to uh, handle the databases and also add your own species to the databases with the database editor and also you should be able to use the estimation module to add species to the database. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching.